Welcome everyone to another video. Today I want to walk you through how to encrypt individual files and folders on your Mac computer as well as how to encrypt the entire disk within your Mac. And this can all be done using features built right in macOS so you don't need to pay for or install anything. To encrypt your entire Mac what you do is you come up here to the top left corner and click on the Apple icon and then click on System Preferences. Look for Security and Privacy and click on it. Make sure you have the File Vault tab selected, and from here you'll just click on the padlock, type in your computer password, and then there will be an option to turn on File Vault, which will go through and encrypt your entire disk in your Mac computer. Now please be aware, you do want to make sure that you remember your password and recovery key, because if you ever lose those, you will not be able to get your data back. Now in addition to File Vault, you can encrypt individual files and folders and the use case for this may be if you just want an extra layer of protection or maybe you share a username with someone else or someone else has access to your Mac. You just want to make sure that individual files and folders are secure. You can do that. So what we're going to do to start off is take the folder that we want to encrypt and then take all the individual files that we want to secure and we're going to move them within this folder. And then we're going to come down here and click on the finder and open it. With the finder open, we're going to come up here to the top and click on go and then click on utilities. And then we're going to open up the disk utility. With the disk utility open, come up here and click on file up at the top and then go to new image and then click on image from folder and then navigate to the location as to where the folder is located that we want to encrypt. I'm just going to click on it and then click on choose. And then we're going to go ahead and give it a name. So I'm just going to call it secure file folder and then you can select the location as to where it's stored for encryption again we have 128 or 256 as options 128 should be fine for most people but again if you want a more secure option you can select 256 but it will be slower i'm just going to select 128 it'll prompt you to create a password remember secure passwords are at least 16 characters long and then once you have your password typed in you can click on choose and then for image format if you just want to be able to view the images or whatever files you're putting in this folder, what you want to do is select either read only or compress. But if you think you want to make changes to it in the future, then you're going to want to select read write, which is what I'm going to use. And then once you have all this filled out, you can go ahead and click on save. Now, once it's finished, you'll notice that you'll have a new DMG located in the location that you selected. It's got the name that we gave it secure folder. And so if we double click on it, It'll prompt us for the password that we created. Just go ahead and type it in and then click on OK. And what that will do is it will mount that image right here in our disk utility. And so if I come over here and double click on it, we can see that all of our files are located in this image. Now, once you've confirmed that all of your images are now in that secure uh, folder or image that we just created, what you'll want to do is locate the original folder because this is just a copy. It's going to leave the original images or folder that you were uh, securing. And so what you'll want to do is take that original and move it down into the trash bin and immediately empty the trash. So that way you are fully secure. Also, please remember that you do need to eject the image when you're not using it because otherwise it will not prompt a user for a password. So again, I'm done using this image. So I'm going to go ahead and eject it. And then the next time you come to this DMG, it will once again prompt you for the password. A few additional quick notes. If you want to be completely secure with encryption, Backblaze will give you an option to back up your data and encrypt that data for you. Signal is a great solution for encrypting text messages and phone calls, as well as ProtonMail is a great option to encrypt and secure your email communications. And ProtonVPN or other VPN services are great if you want to encrypt all the internet traffic going to and from your computer. So you should always watch out to make sure that you are using HTTPS when visiting websites. And then last, Veracrypt is a great solution if you need to encrypt your Windows computer or say a flash drive. I do have a tutorial on how to use Veracrypt. I will post that link down below in the notes down in the video description. I will also post links to all of these said solutions down in the notes. That's everything for this video. If you have any comments or questions, please post them down below. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great day. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you found it helpful, please go ahead and consider sharing it. And please also consider subscribing to my channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notifications on future videos.